Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. In this episode, we're going to show you how to catch a Sarko. So first of all, you want to build like um, a little trap raft like this. It certainly helps a lot. You don't have to have it do it this way, but this is the way I tend to do it. So all I've got is a little trap base, got a little bed here just in case I die. Um, yeah, it's just got nothing but a door here and a ramp. So as long as you're on a raft like this, nothing can attack you. Um, so yeah, what you want to do is come up to the sarcos like this. You just want, see, this isn't probably not the best ideal situation where there's two of them. If we can find just one of them would be great, but two will do. Alright, let's try this. Make sure your ramps are on the ground. And like, you know, that rock probably isn't a good idea that's there. And then what you want to do, you want to grab your... Grab the attention of one of these guys. Let's see, can we get him? No. Alright. Try a different method. Oh, he's swimming. Where's he going? get him where is he where is he where'd he go no you're in there oh there he is there he is oh that scared me all right so basically all you want to do is come up like this bring him in shut the door now i know this seems a bit weird but you come in here like this shut that and then bang you got yourself a um crocodile trap now the ideal situation would be to have would be to have him somewhere uh, where the other ones aren't because yeah then that can get a little annoying and then all you got to do is just shoot through the windows like this oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. this is why you want to have a shotgun on you oh come on, come on. this is also why you got a bed on there of course my gun's not loaded. Hey, why can't I shoot? There we go. Oh man. Every drama, you know. <laughs> that, that's that's getting the Sarko for you. You just want to keep an eye on that other Sarko. Make sure he's not coming over. Because um, he might get a bit angry if you're shooting his mate. And just like that, he's knocked out. Um, we might steal the meat off of this guy, actually. Where'd he go? Here. Yeah. Ain't a lot of meat, but it's a bit. See if we can get some more from somewhere. Real quick. Um. What do we got? Gotta be some meat around here somewhere. A nice snake or something would be good. So at the moment, there's a bit of a glitch where if you move your raft away, um when this thing wakes up he'll spawn back to the location of where he was so back um back on survive uh, arc survival evolve you used to be able to do this and then drive your raft away and in, into like a safer area and then deal with him you know what I mean like and it'll give you a bit more chance just to be able to deal with him oh no this could be some good meat actually where you going buddy Come back. Need your meat. Hell's going on over there? Everyone's having a party. Wait, come back. Of course he runs away now. Can we reach him? Oh, he's coming now. That got his attention. Ah, oh, this is probably a bad idea, actually. This is a bad idea. Too bad idea. Oh. <laughs> So that's probably not the best way to get meat, but it's one way to get meat. Okay, so now you can come up in here. And the good thing about these cages is you tend to be able to use it as protection as well. So nothing can sort of get to you. And then all you want to do, put that stuff into there. And then you just got to wait. And so he shouldn't take too long. He's only a level 10 and I've got um, taming rates turned up. I'm pretty certain on this. So um, yeah, shouldn't take very long at all. 
but it's as easy as that to catch a sarco. So this raft trap base um, it's probably bigger than what you really need. You only really need it to be too wide. But I just got that extra bit just so I can like circle around how I did. It just gives you a bit more time to circle around. And as you can see, it's it's not difficult. Like once you've unlocked a raft and stone, which I'm pretty certain they made the raft lower in Arc Ascended. Like I don't remember being able to unlock it so easily. But yeah, all you need is that. And then you just put your little base around like this. Bunch of windows. Um, a dinosaur gate and this the roof you can even probably use this as a base later on you know like um i've seen other versions of it where on the side here they've got a whole base on this side like double story base and they've got everything from like you know everything you sort of need in there all you'd have to do is um not have windows just have walls and then yeah you're pretty much set pretty much set but yeah, so it's not too difficult. And then now we're in a fairly safe area. Has this guy got enough meat? Yeah, I reckon he's got enough meat. And that is how you would tame yourself a, um, a Sarko. So they're not too difficult. These guys are in my top 10 uh, PvP list. And the main reason they're in the top 10 is number one they're super fast underwater so you can like outrun um things like sharks and stuff like that i've used these oh. i've got something else wanting to have a drama i've used these this is exactly what i mean about the cage you know at least you can stay in the middle here and you're fairly safe nothing can get you you can even shoot these guys through to here like so and then yeah so you can also use this cage to tame many other creatures that are around here, just like that one that was coming at us. And you just get him to come in here, shut the door, bang, you know. Works just as easy. You could probably even build this on land. But I build it on the water so I can go find the creatures. Because if you build it on land, it's only in one spot, you know, like and you gotta bring the creature to it, and you gotta find the creature, and you, you know, you gotta try to build it where the dangerous creatures are. Where when it's on a raft. You can build it wherever you want, where it's nice and safe, and then take it to the dangerous places, you know, like, um, to catch things. I've also used the same type of trap to catch Argies before as well. And so you can basically open this door, bring in an Argy, and then, yeah, do the exact same thing. And you can catch Argies in here. So this trap can be used for multiple different creatures. You know, pretty much anything that um, that will fit through this door. You know, like anything that you can get through the door, you, could, you should be able to tame him up. Things like the frog, you know, you can get the frog to come in here. Um, trike, you could probably get in here. You know, like all sorts of stuff. And then so all you really need to do once you get in here is make sure you've got a way out of here, you know. And then, yeah, you will take a bit of a beating, so you need a little bit of armor on or something like that. Just so you're not dying. Why is my... Why have I got, like, stick shift going on? It's kind of weird. There we go. No? It's kind of weird. It just depends where I'm standing. Yeah, it's freaking me out. So if I stand over here... Is it doing it? Oh, it's because I've got a gun in my hand. That's why. It's trying to lock onto him. I'm thinking, what is going on? That was kind of weird. But yeah, so um, this trap can be used, like, for everything. So, you know, it's... Well, not everything. But yeah, it can be used for a lot of things. So it's... It might take a bit of resources to make to begin with. But in the long run, um, yeah, it can be very, very useful. You can use it on PvP. You can use it on PvE. You know, like, this is PvE at the moment then yeah you can use it on many different things and yeah that's how i've managed to get things like this i've then used like the sarco for instance to tame a basilo you know like so i could get the artifacts and things like that so um there's many different things what what else you would r really do so you wouldn't really tame like a level 10 i'm just showing you how it's sort of done is you bring one of these little looking glass and you'd look out and then you can see the levels of some of these creatures and that way um 
if you want to tame something if you're looking out there and you're like oh yeah look there's a you know level 140 and then you can chase after that specific animal or creature to tame you know and so another very handy thing when you're taming is this looking glass very cheap to get you know all you need is a bit of crystal on that which isn't too hard you can find it on most mountains if you've got like a pt tamed like a pt you can fly up to the mountains and get crystal um some of the caves and things like that as well he's cool looking but yeah and so you'd want higher levels than this originally but yeah so if, if you get a nice decent level one you can pretty much go through and just kill every megalodon and you know all that sort of stuff um to get yourself like the basilo and then use the basilo as well to you know go down into caves and things like that like underwater but this guy is like awesome so very very use um very very useful to have and you can bring him out of the water and up into your base you know like so he's not stuck in the water all the time um it was a lot more helpful when they didn't have cryopods you know and you didn't you could just um like because you couldn't just leave him down the beach like in pvp you know if you had a megalodon or something you just leave it at the beach and then you know someone's going to come and kill it eventually and then you have to try to find a place to hide it and all this sort of stuff but with the sarco you can bring it back to your base and keep it safe but you know now they're, they're dropping um cryopods again not as useful but still extremely useful and as you can see very simple to tame so now usually what you do is why you're doing this um if you've got like a little base in the back here and you've got a smithy you can be making a saddle for him and then that way when he's tamed up you can just whack your saddle on open the door and off you go you know like head straight out into the world they look amazing eh? turn the clouds off only just because yeah they um the clouds don't look too good on mine because the the graphics card's good but it ain't that good you know but you always want to be keeping an eye out for the for high level creatures so that way if you find something decent you know you can um you can get that come on dude he's almost done almost done almost done i reckon one more one more bite and he'll be done one more bite you'd also want to wait inside your cage like this as you've seen with that this guy that tried to attack us before um no, drag his body no, this guy that um try to attack us before if we were standing outside there you know we would have had a lot more dramas like we did before with him where inside he couldn't even get us i do think some can come through the window here like that bird probably could come through the window um maybe a snake possibly he might be able to get through the window but yeah most of the creatures can't get through the windows Let's wait a little bit longer and we should have him. Oh, not a problem. No sounds of it. Look out there now. This guy. Oh. Okay. Maybe. So you don't want him to hit your tame. Because if he hits your tame, it'll wreck your um taming thing. So if I bring him over this side, at least. Come over here, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there, right there. Thank you. You dead? <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Yep, just like that. Keep you safe. You know what I mean? <laughs> Keep you safe while you're taming your sarco. You get rid of the gun. Stop moving. Okay, even level 10 seems to be taking longer than what I thought he would. So, if you were to have um, a higher level one, 
you want to bring more meat things like prime meat and kibble can help and um narcotics you definitely want to have narcotics because you can see this purple bar pinky purple bar oh he's tamed and that is your um how much he's knocked out and he will wake up and go crazy if um that runs out so you want to feed him narcotics to keep him knocked out and that way he doesn't wake up on you but that is it that's how you tame a sarko so if you want to see more videos like this i've got plenty on my channel plus i'll be putting up more daily so hit that like button subscribe and as always i will catch you in the next episode i'll see you later